There's a group of scientists in Europe that have developed a large hadron collider and they're trying to recreate the conditions of what's been known as the Big Bang, slamming antiprotons and protons together to try and find a particle known as the Higgs boson, which has been misnamed the God particle. It's a particle that gives matter mass. Could you guys talk about the conditions of the universe at that time? Will this prove anything, this experiment? Uh, the interesting thing about physics is that there's very little physics left to be discovered on a tabletop. The way physics works is, the way discoveries of physics, by and large, work is you need to go someplace you've never been before, either in scale, large, small, energy especially, speed. Once you explore these extremes, you are at the hairy, bleeding edge between what is known and unknown in the universe. So, if you want to discover something you've never done before, build an accelerator that hits an energy level that's never been hit before. And the early universe is our best particle accelerator we know. And so now we have the very large tabletop version of the early universe, large and expensive, and it allows us to test our ideas about what was going on. And so, yes, it's a regime of the early universe that we have theoretical understanding of, but we yet to have experimental verification <coughs> for. I have visited the Large Hadron Collider uh, twice. On both occasions, I was more or less literally reduced to tears. I was moved so much by this stupendous effort of human ingenuity, human cooperation, multinational. And I expressed my, um, attempted to express my poetic um, fascination and, and um, uh, interest in this, in this, in this ter ter terrific enterprise in my latest book. And there was an unfortunate misprint um, it came out as the large hard-on collider. <laughs> I spotted the misprint and of course I left it in. <laughs> but alas, the, the publisher's proofreader also spotted it. She removed it. I begged her on my knees to leave it in. <laughs> I said it was more than her job was worth. <laughs> uh, a, a quick social comment. The 1990s canceled superconducting super collider that was to be built in Texas had peak energies three times as large as the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. Congress voted to not continue its funding. The project was scrapped. And now the center of mass of particle physics is no longer in the United States. It's in Europe. Now, interesting to the scientists, we, we, why we would rather be here in America, we really celebrate the fact that science continues to advance, and it's just a matter of whose nation's priorities values it. And I saw that as the beginning of the end of America's um, leadership in this realm. Thank sure. You.